Hello and welcome to the AFL Auto Blend 3D Car Creation channel. This is a, a Blender learning uh, short video. Um, I was asked up following one of my videos recently to, um, and it, it was a video where I was shrink wrapping and I was talking about vertex groups. And um, the guy who I respect very much um, sort of was confused. So I thought I'd, I'd try to explain it a little bit better in this video. So um, I'm starting with a blank blender file um, and I'm just simply going to press um, shift and A and add in a mesh UV sphere. So we'll leave it at um, 32 segments and well now we've got it in we'll just tab into edit mode and press Z to go into wireframe. Now what I want to do is range select these and then press X and delete the vertices. So this is um, this is our this is the object that I want to shrink wrap. So let's um, go into object mode and choose shade smooth. Okay, so that's what we've got. We've got a dome basically. Um, so we'll go into so this is our guide mesh. Okay, so I'll just type in guide on that so we know what it is. Um, I'm now going to add a modifier. I'm going to add a subdiv. Um, and now because the mesh that you're using for the guide, you need it to be um, more viewport levels than, um, than the target mesh. Okay, so then your main mesh. So let's ramp this up to four. <clears throat> and we'll ramp that up to four as well. Okay, so we've got the <coughs> excuse me, we've got the um we've got the guide mesh now. Um so with that selected, press shift and D to duplicate it and press enter to set the selection. Um now with this with the guide, let's hide it because we don't need to actually see it. So we've hidden the guide and now we've selected this um, guide mesh. Now once we've got um, a shrink wrap, so add a shrink wrap, add a shrink wrap modifier in. Now we need to set the target. So if you see this little box here with a shrink wrap, you always need a target and you always need a, a vertex group. And this is what we're talking about, the vertex group. But let's choose a target. So click in there and choose guide. So now that is referring to the guide. Okay. Um, so let's just call this main. Okay. Right. So once we've got that, um, because we've added a shrink wrap to this, we don't need the level viewports. So I'm going to take this down to two and I'm going to take this down to three. Okay, so now we've we've got that. So now we tab into edit mode and we select everything because all of those vertices to maintain this smooth shape, we need to create a vertex group. So we click into this box here, vertex group, and where is it here? Right. Click into the vertex group and press the plus key to add in a group. Now you can change this to anything name you want, but in this for this instance, we'll just call it group. Now we want all of these assigned, okay? Um, so anything we add after that will remove from the assignment. So from the vertex group. So we'll press assign to sign it. Now to check this, just click out of it and press select. Select lets you see exactly what you've got in your selection. Okay, so we've got that now. Um, now what I want to do with this is just simply highlight the bottom loop cut, go into top view and make sure in boundary box selection appear, so bounding box, and press S and scale it out to there. 
Now, we don't want these vertices. As you can see, if I tab into object mode, it will drag back all of those vertices to the guide mesh. We don't want that because we're adding, okay, we're adding mesh to the object. So what we do is press remove from the vertex group, okay? Now, it hasn't done anything now because in the modifier we haven't selected it. So go back to the modifier, to the shrink wrap, and we click on this one, vertex group, and click on group to add it. So now it's not added to the, um, to, to the vertex group, okay? So we've done that. So now I want to extrude it in the Z axis. So just bring it down to here. And once again, we go into the vertex group selection and say remove. Okay. So now if we want to add a bit of shape um, to this, uh, let's have a look. We press Z, uh, Control and R, and bring that in to about there to give it a bit of definition. And once again, remove it from the vertex group and then press Control and R again and take it down to here. Okay. So, so we've got this sort of shape going on. So if I wanna manipulate this now, I can just simply go in and I think I'll bring it up a bit. Let's have it to about there. So it's sort of a, I mean, obviously you do what you like with this, but just to doubly make sure, we'll press remove again. Now to check what we've got in the in, in our actual vertex group, we'll press select. So that's correct. So that's all the, um, to maintain the smoothness of this, this these are all the, of the things we want. Now say we wanted to cut a hole in or or um, add a protrusion. Let's add, a, uh, let's add uh, some mesh that actually sticks out. So let's choose this one and then press control and shift and choose that one. So we're going to press, um, so we've got normal selected, so it'll, it'll extrude along the normals, which means it will see whichever direction the normals are pointing, that's where it'll be. So if we had it on global, you could go back to your X, Y, and Z axes. But if you press normals here, it'll extrude in the direction of the normal. So press E, and then just drag it out to here. Once again, remove it <coughs> from the remove it from the vertex group. <coughs> um, right. Okay. So we want to define this a little bit. So Control and R, add a loop cut in all the way down, down there. Remove and another one to make it square. Just add that in and then remove that also. Okay, so that's where we are with it. So we press tab to go into object mode. And if you look there, well, you haven't, the, the mesh is still absolutely perfect of the, um, of that shape. So it's absolutely, absolutely perfect. There's no, um, no real issues with that. And if we want to, if we want to tighten this up, we can. So you could potentially put a, a loop cut around it or whatever. You can do other things with the mesh then, but you still got that initial um, cap shape. Okay. So that's the important thing. So if you if you click out of this now and press select, you can see. If you press select, the verti vertices highlighted will be all that are shrink wrap into your guide mesh. Okay, anything else you take away. So if you're cutting a hole in there, for instance, so let's do a simple hole. So we'll start here and go to here and press a simple hole. And I'm going to use loop tools to um, actually um, to create a circle. So I've created a circle there. I'm going to press I to inset it. So we've got supporting loop cut around it. And then I'm simply going to press X and delete the faces. 
Okay, so all of these, let's press select. So all of these are selected, which is correct because we want it to, um, uh, we want it to, to do that. And if we wanted um, then to take this in, so grab that loop cut and then press E to extrude it in. So extrude it in, remove that from the vertex group. Okay, press F to fill it. Um, and then we've got a little indentation there. Um, if we want to define that a little bit more, um, we can press Ctrl and R here and just take it down and say remove. Now we've got some definition to that little hole we've created. Okay, that's gone to the so we can do what we like with it, that's what I'm saying. So here we go. So if we now go to um, the vertex group and choose select, so if we go into edit mode, um, click off everything and press select. There again, there again, that's where we've, what we've done. Okay. So basically a shrimp, shrink wrap is very, very useful um, for maintaining shape to an object that you want, don't want to change the, uh, you don't want to add any kinks or, or anomalies to that mesh. Okay. Thank you for watching. Um, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.